Joining me now is Qian Chen. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Katie. And congratulations on being the recipient of the 2024 Outstanding Early Career Investigator Award. Thank you. So how does it feel to have your work recognized by your peers here at MRS? Oh, I feel happy and empowered. As a faculty, I grew up in this MS community. I was able to keep learning from my peers. I keep reinventing my research. My role in MS is also evolving from a speaker to a symposium organizer to the co-chair of next spring MS meeting. So I feel greatly inspired to continue working with the community to foster new ideas, new vision, and new impacts. I'd like to also give a big shout out to my home department, the Department of Material Science and Engineering at University of Illinois. Thank you for all your support. Excellent. Well, tell us about the impact your work has had on our understanding of nanoparticle super lattice formation. Sure. Uh, nanoparticle super lattices are behind many of our daily life and extreme environment applications, all the way from electronic devices, biomedical devices to shock absorbers. And the list can keep going on and on because every single day, all the researchers all over the world are making a new application and new property. So meanwhile, my group has this philosophy that we want to image a material, understand its formation, and then engineer it. So we have taken the imaging challenge to videotape the formation process of nanoparticle super lattice in real space and real time. You should come to watch our videos. They are really remarkable. So individual single nanoparticles, they dance in solution, make smart decisions to form into the final lattice. So why do we care about taking such videos? Because then we can process and control the size, shape, symmetry of the super lattices, which are all very important to their properties. So my group has taken a few demonstration examples to show how we can modulate the self-assembly dynamics, how we can amplify the merit of each single nanoparticle as they interact to have emergent properties that people haven't seen before. So what is next for your lab after all of this? Yes, with this uh, amazing capability of making the invisible visible, there are many uncharted opportunities for us to pursue. Going beyond nanoparticle super lattices, my group has been working on complex materials that are heterogeneous, such as filtration membranes and batteries, while using the best characterization technique, including and going beyond liquid phase electron microscopy, the best modeling and data science approaches to understand that structural property relationship. The, a the same argument can also be extended to biological systems. So my group just published our first paper on liquid phase electron microscopy imaging of protein solutions. So from those videos, we hope to understand the complexity of biological systems from protein to cells to understand how our brains work, how our immune system respond. There are so many opportunities out there. Sometimes I will wake up from my dreams, take notes before I forget. So I would like to end by saying, Join us in this adventure. The best is yet to come. Thank you so much, Qian Qian, and congratulations on your award as well. Yeah, thank you.